guys. It's Jess. If you're new here, then welcome. And guys, if you've been with me for a while, then thank you for coming back. So these are general readings, and that means they cannot resonate for everybody. So please just take what's meant for you and then leave the rest behind. It is energy, and that means the roles could very well be reversed. So guys, if you need to flip-flop those roles around for it to resonate, please feel free to do so. As always, information for scheduling personal readings is in the description box below. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weekly check-ins are uploaded, you will be notified, and you can come hang out with us. Scorpios, I did upload your October monthly about a week ago, so if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do so. And I'll be doing our October mid-months here in about a week. So these readings are going to be a little shorter and less detailed than our um, monthlies and mid-monthlies because they're just seeing where the energy flows for the next week just to get us through until we do those October mid-months. All right. Archangels and guides, please deliver a very clear message with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Scorpios. Please show me Scorpio's energy towards their person for the next week, please. What is Scorpio's energy towards their person for the next week, please? Scorpio's energy towards their person for the next week. Scorpio's energy towards their person, please, for the next week. What is Scorpio's energy, please, towards their person? One more shuffle. Scorpio's energy towards their person next week. All right, Scorps, let's see what we have for you. We're going to get your person's energy out on the table. Show me the person that Scorpio is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy like towards Scorpio for the next week? The person that Scorpio is dealing with in this situation. What is their energy like towards Scorpio? The person that Scorpio is dealing with in this situation. Show me their energy towards Scorpio, please, for the next week. One more shuffle. What is their energy towards Scorpio? All right, Scorps, let's see what we got for your person. Okay. All right, Scorp, so I do feel like you're tired of being patient with somebody. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. I feel like there's somebody that you've been patient with for, you know, a while, and I feel like you're getting kind of fed up with it. So your person's overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, definitely wanting to offer something to you, definitely wanting to... You know, there's commitment and stuff. They have good intentions. Let's put it like that. They have good intentions, Scorpios. But the Pentacles are not the most fast-paced energy. And I feel like you have been pretty patient with them, especially with the Temperance card here. But I feel like you're getting tired of being patient with them. Because um, <laughs> I feel like you feel like you're good all by yourself. And that if this person isn't going to give you what you want, if this person isn't going to step up and make that actual commitment with you, then I don't think you necessarily want it. And it's kind of that, like, seems kind of like a bratty um, energy, but I understand it. It's if I can't, if you're not going to give me what I want, I'm going to go and either be by myself or find it somewhere else. Because so I feel like this person is just not stepping up. They're just not stepping up. So, in your heart, you want to start this with them. You want the passion. You want the next step. You, you want to do this new beginning, this new adventure with this person. Um, you see them as somebody who's just sitting there basically I'm like these guys can control issues has to have everything be on their terms in their time the way that they want it and i feel like like i said i feel like you're getting fed up because your action is the world card i feel like if this person with the seven of wands too so i feel like if this person does not step up their game i don't think you're going to wait for them much longer squirts i really think that you're going to put an end to this if they don't you know step it up now the thing with your person is so they do have the knight of cups or the knight of 
pentacles as their um, supporting energy, their overall energy. So they do have commitment and good intentions in mind. And in their head, they have the Ace of Cups. So they, you make them feel very emotionally fulfilled. You make them feel all the love and all the, you know, all those gooey emotions. But in their heart, this is what is interesting to me. They have the Four of Cups. So in their heart, they're still kind of wanting to reject what they're feeling. And I feel like it's the same Ace of Cups that we have in this picture. And it's kind of like they're, in their heart, they're wanting to reject it. And I don't know if that's like, a lot of times that stuff is out of fear. You know, fear of getting hurt or, especially if they've been through stuff before. So I just feel like they're kind of rejecting this in their heart. So they know that you make them happy. They know that they, you know, eventually want to have that with you. But that's the key word is eventually. And they're seeing you as the Hierophant. So they're seeing you as somebody who wants marriage and commitment. And I do feel like that freaks them out a little bit. Because, you know, I do feel like they have some deep-rooted issues going on. Um some deep-rooted fear issues when it comes to commitment and love as a whole, connection as a whole. Um, but they do recognize that they have something with you. It's just in their heart, they're not, they're kind of blocked. Something they really need to work on. Um, but their action is the Ace of Wands. Like, they're going to jump in and do this adventure with you. And I feel like it's because you're getting awfully fed up. <laughs> I think it's because you're getting awfully sick of them. Whew. All right, Scorpios, that's an interesting reading. So like I said, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Guys, if this was not your message, then check out your other sign placement videos, Moon Rising and Venus. And if it did or if it did resonate, please let me know in the comments below. And we're going to get you some Oracle messages now. I think I'm going to, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Scorpios losing their patience. Let's see the first one that popped out. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you really do want this person, I feel like you need to open that throat shock for right up, Scorpio, and just tell them. You need to make your intentions very clear. And like I said, I do see this person stepping up because I feel like you're going to be like, okay, I'm done. And they're going to be like, please don't. <laughs> That's kind of the energy I'm seeing. Please don't. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm ready. So Spirit's telling you to, you know, vocalize that. Be very clear. Be very clear about what you want. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I'm feeling like this is not so much a message for you, but maybe for your person. So if you are a cross watcher watching this and you have, I'm not saying you're hung up on an ex, but the message I'm getting from this is if the reason that you don't want to open up to this Scorpio, you know, is because of being hurt from the past, you need to let that past go. That's the message I'm getting from this is you need to let those past fears go. And Scorpio, it's coming up in your reading because Spirit's trying to let you know that they've been through some stuff. Your person's been through some stuff, you know, and they're not doing this. They're not being slow or non-committal because they're a player or because they're using you or anything. It's none of those. It's because, it's just out of fear. It's because they've been through some stuff and they're afraid of going through some more. So Spirit's just letting you know this, this is what that is. But be clear. Be open with your person. All right. We're going to get you some Moonology cards now. Archangels and guides, can I please get a couple of moonology messages from my beautiful Scorpios? A win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. So we are in Libra season. So things are working out, guys. And like I said, these are weekly outcomes and things look to be working out. So I don't think you're going to be waiting too much terribly longer on this person, Scorps. Ooh. Let's see. And the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So I do, like I said, I, I really do feel like as if just to, oh, and let's see what else was this one was. A personal issue reaches a resolution. I couldn't pick these better if I tried. So, yeah, guys, things are going to work out with this person. You are going to get some clarity. If this person hasn't opened up to you about their past or why they're so guarded, I feel like they're going to have that conversation with you. And I feel like this is all going to, you know, come to that resolution here with probably this week, but if not really close after that. Things are definitely going to work themselves out here. I think it's going to work out for the best, too, especially with that win-win outcome card. All right, guys, if this resonated, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it didn't, I'm sorry, it's just not your message. Please check out your other sign placements, though. Um, as always, I hope that you guys left here with something. When I do these videos, it is always my biggest goal that you guys leave here with something, whether it's some clarity, some hope, um, some sheer entertainment. I hope that you guys got something out of this. And if you did and you feel called to do so, please like, share, and subscribe. Sending you guys lots of love and light.